Hi you guys, this is Jamie with Whatever's Clever Boutique and today we are going to go through a slow step-by-step -step on how to epoxy these 40 ounce Big Betty tumblers from the Tipsy Magnolia for a flawless finish with the handle. So I'm going to just go ahead and show you my process. This I've had a lot of success with. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start by removing the handle. So just tip your tumbler right upside down and we're just gonna slowly work back and forth with those screws to get that handle off. It's a little bit easier this way. It puts a lot, a lot less stress on the handle itself and those little nubs that are underneath by working your way back and forth slowly with the screws until they are both out of the tumbler. Now, like with all other tumblers, we're gonna go ahead and prep it by sanding down that stainless steel until it is no longer shiny. All we wanna do here is rough up the surface so that our paint and glitter and epoxy and all of that stuff has something to adhere to. Then we're gonna go ahead and spray that tumbler down with some 91% alcohol and wipe it until it is completely clean. As you can see here, my cloth gets super dirty. If you didn't clean off your tumbler, that would all be staying on there and we surely do not want that. Now at this point, I would spray paint or base paint my tumbler whatever color I am using glitter wise, but today I'm actually using a silver glitter. So we're just gonna go ahead and leave our tumbler silver. So here is where the most important part is in my mind, I could be incorrect, but in my mind, this is the most important part. Um, today we're using the UV resin way to epoxy our tumbler today. So as you can see here, I am taking that UV resin and I am slowly working my way around those little nubs. I don't want to get any epoxy up on there. Do as I say, <laughs> not as I do. As you can see there, I got up a little too close to that nub. So I wipe away as much as I can. But then because obviously the epoxy is already on there, I just take more caution when I go to glitter here. So do yourself justice by <laughs> avoiding that section altogether. As you can see there on the top one, that is a perfect example. We want to give enough space that we aren't going to get any glitter up in that area. Once we get that area to our liking, then we go around and go ahead and epoxy the rest of the tumbler. I do apologize, I keep saying epoxy, it's resin, it's not epoxy, it's UV resin. <laughs> glitters today we're gonna use heavenly this is the most stunning silver and guy diamond both from peachy olive glitters so here is where if you did it perfectly like I did on the top one you can just lay that glitter right over top of that area because you know that the glitter is gonna fall right off because there's no epoxy over those little nub sections as you can see here I'm being very careful while applying applying the glitter to that bottom section because I don't want to get any um, glitter up in that area. So as you can see there on the top, I just dumped it right on top because as you see here, when I shake it off like that, it just all falls off. So I take my time applying that glitter. Again, if you did it correctly, you could just apply it super quickly over top, dump it off, and you'll have your little open sections. Now I'm just gonna glitter the rest of the tumbler with this gorgeous silver glitter. Once 
once we get our chunky glitter applied, we're gonna go in with that guy diamond and just go right over top to fill in any open areas that may not have been covered by our heavenly glitter. And again here, when I get to that bottom nub, I'm gonna take a little more care as to try and not get a bunch of glitter up on there. This is a finer cut, so it's not as much of a concern, but we definitely wanna be cautious not to build up too much glitter there. Then we're just gonna go ahead and apply that to the rest of the tumbler. Once we're done, we really wanna tap off all that excess. Now look at that top one, it is almost perfect. So if you're like myself and you're a perfectionist, I actually take the handle and I put it on the tumbler at this point. Obviously being careful not to get any epoxy on it, but as you can see here, I have some bare spots where you can see that underside. So what I do now is I take this little silicone tool that I have with some UV resin on it and I'm just gonna dab into those areas where I saw those bare spots when I had the handle on it. So I just apply that UV resin, sprinkle, I just, just did the guy diamond, I did the fine glitter right over top of those areas and then I tap off that excess again and we should be good to go. Because this is a chunky glitter, I am gonna roll it out on my parchment paper and then tap down any of those spots that I wasn't able to get when I rolled it. Now, because we used UV resin, we now need to cure it under our UV lamp. So I go ahead and put my tumbler on my turner and I have this really cool stand from Tumbler Shields that holds my little UV lamp perfectly. And I just let that spin for about 15 minutes. That could be total overkill, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Once that's all cured, we're gonna go into our first coat of epoxy. I have my turner off. I don't even start my turner turning until after I get the epoxy laid next to those stubs. So as you can see here, I am just gonna slowly, this is not sped up, I'm gonna slowly take my time applying the epoxy exactly where I want it over that glitter section near the stubs. My favorite epoxy is KS Resin Liquidy Split Ultra UV Epoxy. So I have about 15 minutes or so of working time, which is plenty in this situation. But if your fast set cures really, really quickly, or starts curing, I should say, you probably should use just a regular set epoxy. So I'm just gonna keep going here, taking my time, wiping away any epoxy that I don't like around those nubs. And then I'm gonna start working my way out a little bit, again, before I turn on my turner. This is just gonna make it easier once I turn on that turner. I'm not gonna have to worry about working at all near those handles. We want the epoxy to be exactly where we want it before we start the turner turning. Now, once we get all of that applied in that handle area, I'm gonna speed this up a little bit so you don't have to watch just regular epoxying, but I'm gonna go through and epoxy the rest of the tumbler. Still taking time not to drip any epoxy from my cup on those little nubs, any of that kind of stuff, but we're just gonna do our regular epoxying now.
Once we get all the epoxy on, we're gonna take our torch as always and pop any of those air bubbles. Now, can we just take a minute to appreciate these gorgeous glitters? I am obsessed. <laughs> but back to our regular scheduled programming. Here is what our epoxy looks like around that nub. Just take your time. This is gonna make it so much easier when we go to reapply that handle once our design is finished. Once this coat is cured, because this is a chunky glitter, we're gonna go right back in with another coat and we are going to apply it the exact same way. It doesn't matter what design you're doing, each coat you need to take the time, keep that turner off, and just apply that epoxy slowly and carefully around those nub areas. Now it's okay if you get the epoxy a little bit over top of that glitter into that stainless steel section, that's totally fine. You just don't want it to build up there. So just being sure that if you get it in that section, as you'll see, I do here a little bit, I'm just gonna take my finger, I'm gonna wipe that down and be sure that it's not thick and built up. Right below this nub here on the bottom, because I got a little bit of glitter there, I'm just taking extra caution to not build any epoxy up there so that we can still apply our handle flawlessly. Again, this section isn't sped up. I want you guys to see how much time and care I put into doing this. I don't want you to feel like you have to rush it. This is real speed. I am doing this slowly. And then I do speed it up here once we go to the normal epoxying part, but I want you guys to see how slow I do apply the epoxy around those handle areas. At some point, I will add a design or a quote or a saying, something on this tumbler. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna show you guys how I apply that handle back onto the tumbler. As you saw there, my I had no buildup on those sections next to the stub. And a little trick, I do store my screws right in that center section there of the lid so I don't lose them. Don't ask me why. As you can see, it goes on there no issues at all. I just stick those little screws right back in the holes and I'm going to apply them the same way we removed them. I'm going to go back and forth putting them on so no stress is put onto those nubs itself and make it difficult because if you apply only the top one and then go to apply the bottom there's going to be a lot of stress on that top one which will make the bottom pop up a little bit. So take your time going back and forth with your screwdriver and then our handle is on. I do this every single time. I did make a mistake my very first time doing this and I had to dremel away some of those pieces and it was just such a pain. So I figured I would share this with you guys. I've had a lot of requests, but taking your time and making sure that you have no buildup is the key to success. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask and I'll have everything listed down below. Have a good rest of your day.